Hi Taurus, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm actually doing fairly well. Um, I am tired tonight. I've stayed up too late, but <laughs> you know how that goes. Um, so one of the things I did tonight was I just pulled a couple of cards from the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck for everybody. Oh, and by the way, this is for the week of August 24th, 2020 to August 30th, 2020. My granddaughter's birthday. So I got two cards for us. I started out with one, but then this other one just popped out at me like, no, I want this to be there too. So the first one we got is which justice is coming. So what that means is that, and I'm not a big fan of the threefold law, whatever you do comes back to you threefold. Sometimes it's tenfold, sometimes it's onefold, but I think you, karma, you get back what you put out. <clears throat> um, so this is saying justice is coming. So this week, keep in mind that spirit does a much better job about providing justice than I can or you can or anybody can. Spirit does an amazing job. And you have to trust him. And the second one is stardust. We are all universe. We are all just stardust. And I think that's really cool because that means that spirit is inside of all of us. Um, my mom used to have a saying, you're more than the world, though you're just a little dot. You can love and think, but the world cannot. Um, but she also used to say, we're like little pieces of foam upon the ocean. We're all together. We make the ocean. So, y'all, you're the ocean. I'm the ocean. So, see that God that's inside of all of us. Now, I pulled an oracle card just for y'all. And this one I got is stars. You can manifest your desires. Um, and that's so true. Um, however, don't be sharing it with everybody because somehow what I have found is when you're putting all that energy out into the world, if you share it too much, it dissipates that energy. <coughs> when it's completed, go ahead and put it all out and share it. <coughs> but don't do it while you're manifesting. The first card I got is King of Wands, and it's reversed. So you know, we just turn it upside down, but it's dilute. And this is a man that is in control. This is all about uh, maybe he's an older person. You've been communicating with him. Um, you've been talking to him about advice. And, um, and keep in mind, he's kind of controlling, but he's got your best interests at heart. One of the things you need to do this week, though, is take time and think. The next card is Four of Swords. So whatever this controlling man tells you, this week you take that and think about it. You don't just jump in and rush. This card has all these swords. It looks like he's about to be stabbed, but that's not what's going on. These swords are protecting him. They are there for his protection. And But a um, knight back in the day after a battle would go back to his room and rest and think over everything that had just happened. So at, during this week, you need to take that time and think over what's going on. Don't just rush. There's an old saying, rush, rushing into where angels fear to tread. Don't do that this week. Don't do that. Take your time and think through things. And finally, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. And this is card is all about... Um, work and um so i believe you're going to get contracts or you're going to have all the business you need this week if you're self-employed or if you're working you're going to be working it's all going to be good financially it's going to be a good week for you but you got to take your time and think about it and meditate on it and manifest on it now let's look at the crystal ball um The first card I see is a seashell, and that can mean two things, and I'm going to share them both with you because I, I don't, I'm really 
in a quandary over what it, that which one it means. Okay, I got a seashell when I was in Mexico years ago um, because sometimes um, when, like in um, Joshua, fit the Battle of Jericho, um, I'm not so sure that he wasn't walking around with a seashell. They make a hellacious noise. Um, but that's one of the way people call spirit. Um, not that you can't call him with your voice, don't get me wrong. But sometimes just a bell or a um, singing bowl or playing a um, shell delineates that this is a time that spirit is here. It can also mean that this is a week to take time and go into your shell and do that evaluation and that time for yourself. I don't know which one applies to you, but I do know that one of them applies to you. And I see a flock of birds. You are going to take off like a flock of birds this week because it's going to the right. And so that's saying that you're getting ready to take off and you're going to fly. You're going to fly. Isn't that amazing? Not literally, figuratively, okay? And I see a doorway. Doorways open to something brand new, but they also shut on something old that's not serving you anymore. So you're going to take off. Walk through that door, Taurus. This is that week to walk through the door, and it's okay. Spirit's got your back. Now, I'm going to do something fun this week. In a day or two, I'm going to have a special video. I'm going to open a new box of Oracle cards, and we're going to look at them together. I have not seen them. I have not opened them. We're going to open it together, which is going to be really fun. Um, and the reason for that is I am trying out a camera, a different camera, and so I want to practice with it without it being like a major thing like this, where if it totally bombs, I don't want to know it. I want to know it in advance. Okay, y'all. Um, give me a call if you want to do a private reading. Most of my readings are like 11 to 15 cards. We can look at my pendulum, the oracles, whatever it is. Just talk to spirit, use mediumship, whatever you feel like is necessary. Um, also, um, so to do that, send me a text 405-512-9400 or send me a private message at Belladonna Moonbeams. And if not, I'll see y'all next week. Have a good one. Bye.